Hey everybody, in this video I introduced the semantic text splitter library, but I made a mistake. The splitter does not actually use the BERT model, it only uses the BERT tokenizer. I know it's a highly requested topic to split documents with an LLM because splitting by chunk size often leads to bad retrieval results. In this video we will actually implement the splitter on our own. We will split documents by using an LLM. Okay, I'm in this code in the LLM splitter IPython notebook. And to create our custom splitter, we need a text splitter, a chat prompt template, chat OpenAI. Since we do it with OpenAI, we can also use other models and an output parser. Okay, first let's have a look at the input.txt file. This is a text file which contains five topics, renewable energy, artificial intelligence, and three more. And it's all covered inside here. So we can't split it just by a new line or just by a dot. We have to do it semantically with an LLM. And this is what we're gonna do. So first we start by creating our own class, the LLM text splitter, which inherits from the text splitter class. Let's have a look at the interface of the text splitter. This inherits from base document transformer and also from ABC. So we've got our abstract method here, which is split text. And this is the method we have to override to then create our custom splitter. So let's now close this and have a look at how this is implemented in this class. So here is the method split text. And first we check if you want to count the tokens. This is just a helper method to see how many tokens we've got in our input text. And then we call the invoke method of a chain. So what is the chain? The chain is a chain we create with LangChain. So this is the LangChain expression language where we prompt a template. So we've got two templates, a white template which covers wider topics and then a granular um, template which covers detailed topics. And we create an instance of that and store it as attribute of the class. And then we pass it to the model. The model is an instance of chat OpenAI where we pass in the model name. The default model name is GPT 3.5 Turbo. And then we pass it to the SDR output parser. So this is a normal chain. To make this chain work, we need a special template. So we split the text according to the broad topics it deals with, and then we wrap these arrows around each chunk. So this is what we force the LLM to do. We now call the invoke method of our chain. So this is the invoke method, and we pass the text to this chain. This will now make a call to OpenAI, or if, if you use a local chain, also make a request to the local model and return a response. And now we want to split the result by these arrows. And how can we do that? We've got this special format chunks method and this identifies patterns in this text. So here you can see these three arrows and this means everything which is inside these arrows. So this identifies everything uh, inside this arrow. So this will identify the chunks. And now we want the RE package, so the regular expression package and find this pattern in our text and this will return our chunks. After that, we want to run the strip method of all of the chunks to remove white space and then return the new chunks. So let's try that out. First, let's import our environment variables. So I've got the OpenAI API key here, load the text, store it in this data variable and now create our LLM text splitter. So we've got these five topics and I set count tokens to true. So this will use the tokenizer and tell us how many tokens we use. And uh, the prompt type is white. So we will use the broader topics. And now let's see how many topics this identifies. So here's the, are the number of tokens. This will take some time now because we make a request to OpenAI. And now we can have a look at our chunks. We can see we've got a list and we've got the five topics. So renewable energy, artificial intelligence, biodiversity, space exploration and digital currencies. These are the topics which are in the input.txt. So I think the LLM was able to identify these topics pretty well. And as we can see, we can also use the create documents method, which is also provided by the splitter. So this will now work out of the box because we implemented the split text method. So I'm going to show you that too. And now we will not just have a list of texts or a list of strings, but we will have a list of LangChain documents. This is what you need or what you want to have for your retriever. 
Okay, as you can see, we've got a list of documents. Here is the page content attribute, which contains this string, which we had here. But now we've got the Langchain documents, which you need for your vector store. Okay, so that seems to work. And so far, I have not seen this in Langchain or other packages. So let me know what you think about this approach in the comments. Thanks for watching. See you. Bye bye.